What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Like I said in my last video, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about how I get power while living in my van. So I don't have any solar panels that you mount on the roof. I don't have any batteries. This is what I rely on solely to power anything and everything that I need electrical or electric wise. Um, so let's start with the Jackery. Um, you guys know I did a full Jackery review. Um, <clears throat> I'll link that. I'll put a card here or something if you want to check that out. But the <clears throat> Jackery is great. It has the 12 volt, um, the 12 volt connection, the USB connections, USB-C, and then it's got the three regular uh, plugs. And this actually charges pretty quickly and holds a charge uh, or holds its charge fairly well. Right now I use the Jackery every single day. I have two solar panels. Um, I don't use the solar panels a lot while I'm here at Jason's property because there's so many trees. But both of the solar panels um, with both of them plugged in, it will pull about 120 watts. And then with this fully charged, it lasts a decent amount of time. I only use it for uh, mainly just like my laptop and charging my cell phone. Um, I'm trying to think of like anything else I'd use it for. I don't, I don't use a, I don't use it for a whole lot other than that. Um, right now with it being winter, I do plug in a heated blanket to it and I can have that heated blanket plugged in and of course it's like a 45 minute timer so it'll um, turn off on its own and if on the really cold nights when it turns off and it starts cooling down it'll wake me up and I'll turn it back on but I can do that throughout the entire night and it doesn't pull much um, percentage at all um, like I would say maybe three to five percent battery for one night having it on as much as possible uh, the heated blanket which uh it, which to me in my opinion is great because anything with heat takes a lot of power to power it takes a lot of electrical to power so i absolutely love the jackery i don't really have any complaints about the jackery um my i do have to say that it's pretty light i don't know exactly how much the jackery weighs i would guess about 15 pounds maybe 20 at most um, it's not very heavy it's very easy to pick up and take with me so the fact that it is portable is a big seller for me um, this is great for someone like me who does live in their vehicle it is a little pricey so that's my only thing they do make smaller ones so like a lot of people on my review had mentioned that they because I in my head I was thinking like why would have someone who has a house and who has like electricity really need one of these unless you're planning on like going camping a lot and stuff like that but a lot of people said that they get jackeries for when their power goes out and I thought that was a really great idea so um, yeah that's another great use for the jackery if your power goes out so moving on um, recently I got this uh, it's a max oak blue uh, blue eddy i think it's the 250 um this actually is pretty powerful i don't charge it often i think i've charged it to uh, charged it fully twice since i've had it and i've had it for a couple weeks now um unfortunately i haven't had it long enough to i to feel like i can give you guys a super detailed um review on it but so far it's great. It is pretty heavy. I think someone said it's 38 pounds. So this is definitely not something that I want to lug around with me, but it, it is pretty powerful. Um, I think it said it's 1500 HW slash 1000W. So not, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about like batteries and stuff, but that's what it says it is. But this one has the four USB charge uh, plugs in front and then the this says PD 45W max. I don't use that But then it also has the 12 volt as well and this one does have regular plugs on the back. It has two of them So this is definitely pretty heavy um, But I do use this often as well. I use it just as often as the Jackery I charge my phone on it and then I also keep a heated blanket plugged into this one as well. I have um, 
two heated blankets in their in the van and they're both the 12 volt uh, plugs so they're made for cars and so I keep both the both of them plugged into one of these uh, whenever I'm in bed and so this is actually very powerful uh, I use it for the for the same things I use the Jackery for I also use this one as opposed to the Jackery I've used them both Jackery does it just as well too but I do have a TV in my van so this uh, this and the Jackery both um, can power my TV and my DVD player and I can watch I can I can watch movies all night long if I wanted to if they're both fully charged so that's a great thing for me especially when I'm like taking trips and I know and I don't have service like my first solo night in my van I went uh, and took a trip a little ways down the Illinois River and I didn't have any cell service um, I had enough to call and text, but I didn't have enough to stream. So it was great to have, um, I, at the time I didn't have this, so it was great to have the Jackery with me and I was able to just watch movies, uh, before I went to bed because it got dark and I'm not trying to keep my doors open or anything at night. So, uh, when I went, I got ready for bed, I, uh, locked up, I closed all, uh, I covered up all the windows and stuff and, I watched a movie and fell asleep and so so that's great for me that they're able to power my TV and my DVD player um, this actually has a solar panel as well that I have for it it folds which I think is really cool so this actually it kicks it has a kickback stand so you can lay it flat and lean it back but this one actually folds up like this so it breaks down pretty small and then it has these little latches that you just latch up like so and boom it has a little handle it's not heavy at all you can carry it got some cat hair on there but this one also just like the jackery comes with the different plugs and um, you just plug it in and then when you unplug it you can fit it right here zip it back up and it's all kept together and I usually keep all of the chargers in this one pouch but I have the one I have one of them out actually I have two of them out um, one's for the car for when I'm driving I charge it and then one's for uh, the generator if I need to I charge it with the generator um, the cool thing about this solar panel though for the blue eddy is it pulls this one small panel pulls 180 watts which I was kind of blown away um, it so it definitely pulls a lot more and I, I think the blue eddy definitely lasts a little longer like I said I haven't had it long enough to truly test it for certain things because um, I just use it for everyday life uh, I'm not like trying to do anything crazy with it but it does pull 180 watts uh, with full Sun and I did notice that if it's cloudy outside, the Jackery panels will pull a little bit, like, you know, five to 10 watts. But when it's cloudy, this does not pull any watts. But if you think about it, five to 10 watts is not gonna do any, it's not gonna do much at all. So um, with full sun, two of the solar panels from Jackery pull 120 watts and one of these smaller, solar panels from the Blue Eddy pulls 180 watts. So I thought that was really um, an interesting comparison with the two. Um, I don't know anything about it as far as solar goes. I don't know why one pulls more than the other. I'm not an expert, but that is just what I know with having both of them. Um, I do try and keep my solar panels as clean as possible so that they are able to pull full sun. But um, like I said, the Jackery is much lighter. This is a lot heavier and the solar panel for this one's much smaller and easier to maneuver. And of course the Jackery's are a little bit bigger, um, but usually I'll just take those out, slap them on top of my car. This one as well, I'll just throw it on top of the van and I get, you know, all the solar panel or all the solar power that I need as long as it's full sun. Uh, even here with the trees, if it's, if it's midday and the sun's out, then it pulls um, a decent amount for me to charge both of them. So one thing I wanted to show you guys before I forget is that on the Blue Eddy, um, when you turn it on, 
you can turn just the USBs on or you can turn just the regular plugs on or you can turn both of them on. So you can keep, so you don't have to power everything all at once. And at first I was like, I don't know which one's DC. I don't know which one's AC. And I was kind of having to try and just figure it out. And then Dawn from Dawn of Van Life was like, just check the Jackery as like a, a guide. So this is the AC. It's for the regular plugs. And then the DC is going to be for all of these. So that was a super simple um, thing that I didn't know. But so the AC will power the ones in the back that are the regular plugs. And then if I want just the DC on, that's going to be all the ones up here in the front. All right. So last but not least, um, I actually got this small generator. It's for um, like camping and stuff like that. It's a 2000 watt generator. It's from Rock Pals and it came with the, a little cone. It came with jumper cables, a um, screwdriver, some extra cables. And this actually is going to be something that I don't necessarily use every single day. It's going to be more for if I know I'm going to be in one place for a certain amount of time, like a little bit longer, I can put it outside the van, run the generator if I need to. Um, say if it's a freezing cold night and those heated blankets just aren't going to cut it, I do have a little space heater that the generator is strong enough to run. And so I can, and it actually heats up the van very, very well to the point where I have to turn the heater off. Um, because I have used it before. And so the goats crack me up. Um, quit eating the solar panels. <laughs> go, come on. Put your, no, go, 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 go. Come on. Anyways, so um, yeah, so it does the heater. And that's pro that was my main thing right now for the winter is I wanted to be able to have the heat option of the little space heater if I needed it. Um, the Jackery and the uh, Blue Eddy are not strong enough for the, the space heater that I have, but they do the heated blankets, which I use more often. So it's great for that. But the generator is also great for other things too. Like if um, I am camping and I, you know, have people out with me or whatever the case may be, this will literally power any and everything that I need powered. <clears throat> so this will be great to have on the road for basically emergencies or just a ton of extra power if I need it. Um, this does have I'll show you the front. So, so this has the two regular outlets and then two USB outlets. So what I love about this, um, aside from the fact that it is powerful enough for anything that I need to power, um, is the fact that it is small enough that I can take it with me on the road and I won't have any issues storing it and it, and it taking up too much room. Um, so for this, I do keep it in between my two seats in the front and I don't have any issues with that. I was keeping my cooler there, but my cooler's too wide to put in there um, a certain way. So I have to put it in sideways and I don't like that anyways. So I keep the cooler out by the kitchen area or behind the passenger seat and I keep this in between the two front seats and it works perfectly fine, doesn't take up too much room. So as of right now, um, that is how I power everything in my van. Um, like I said, I don't have like a regular solar setup where I have solar mounted on the roof and I have batteries. Uh, this is all that I rely on right now, aside from when I actually have the van turned on. If I'm driving, which most of the time that's not the case if I'm trying to uh, power anything. Uh, I do have lights in the van, but they only come on when the van's on. And <clears throat> I know Dawn uh, Van Live, she said that I could probably connect them to the Jackery, the lights, so that I can turn them on when the van is not on. So that might be something that I do in the future, but who knows. <clears throat> so right now, I just wanted to kind of, uh, for anyone wondering, let you guys know how I'm powering um, all of my electronics inside the van. So, so I hope this helped you guys at all, just a little bit even, or if you were just curious, I hope this cured your, um, I hope this satisfied your curiosity, but I have a really busy day today. I'm working on something really special and you guys will see that in the next day or two. So I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. And I will see you guys tonight on, um, Crocker Simply Southern live chat with 
uh, mom and dad Crocker, Jason, Jared, and Matt. So uh, if you haven't checked that channel out, go do so. And I'll see you guys, I think, at 7 o'clock tonight. Um, I'm going to go put all this stuff up because the goats are crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.